Good Friday Longhorns is January 24th, 2020. Coming up on today's broadcast, we will discuss ways you can help the class of 2020 and 2021. Plus, we will show you all our delicious recipes for breakfast and more, so let's get started. Good day. I'm Andrea Madrazo. And I'm Andrea Alarcón. Thank you for making us the number one newscast in all of UISD. And this is what's happening in Longhorn Nation. Attention class of 2020. Hollister will be hosting the ultimate prom contest. To enter, just scan the code on the screen. The winning school wins a famous DJ. The codes are posted all around United, so make sure to scan and vote. It's that time of year again where our students vote for their class favorites. Nomination meetings will be held at the campus library, 9th grade on Monday, January 27th at 7.45 a.m., 10th grade on Monday, January 27th at 8 a.m., 11th grade on Wednesday, January 29th at 8 a.m., and 12th grade on Thursday, January 30th at 8 a.m. 9th to 11th graders will be voting for most studious boy and girl, most athletic boy and girl, and class favorite boy and girl. Seniors will be voting for most athletic, most popular, most beautiful and handsome, most courteous, most spirited, most likely to succeed, most studious, most outgoing, most talented, best dressed, most humorous, and most friendly. Any students nominated will have to pick up a form from Patty Martinez in the front office. All classes will vote during lunches on Wednesday, February 5th. Students, join the class of 2021 for their fundraiser night at Texadelphia on January 29th from 5 to 9 p.m. 35% of the proceeds will be donated to their class, so make sure you bring the flyer or mention it to include your purchases. Attention agricultural students. Remember to turn in your forms before February the 14th the Life Rep will be coming to United to pick up all approved forms on February 18th by 12 noon. If you have any questions, please consult with Ms. Patty Martinez. <laughs> Longhorns, if you're interested in creating your own music or singing, on March 27th there will be a Best Song Contest, a contest where you can sing your lungs out for a chance to win prize money. There are some requirements to join the contest. The song needs to be original, it can be in a solo or in a group, and there is no age restriction. The grand prize will be $2,000. This competition is open to anyone residing in Webb County. Okay. If, there if there are any questions, call 956-723-7457 or go to the website www.pillarstong.org. Attention poets, Laredo will be hosting its 17th annual Poetry Festival on Saturday, April 25th, 2020. Participants must be students from UISD and LISD and must be 18 years or older. Rules include poems being original, pages being no longer than two pages and double spaced. Form submission must be turned in by March 3rd. Coming up on School Info, our librarian has some exciting news for our readers. With more is School Info News anchor, Carlos Fernandez. Hello, I'm Carlos Fernandez and this is your School Info News. Our librarian would like to inform you that we have new books in our library. Stop by and grab a book. We will also have the blind date with the book next week. If you have any questions, please see our librarian. Our nurse would also like to let you know that January is Birth Defect Prevention Month. Birth defects occur in about one in every 33 infants born in the United States each year. Also, a reminder that we are in the peaks of flu season, so make sure to wash your hands and use Germex regularly. Attention seniors, Buffalo will be coming to United every other Wednesday starting January 22nd, so make sure to pay for your cap and gown. And this has been your school for news and Carlos Fernandez, now back to you. Making a return this semester with the review on Meet the Robinsons, it's Hector Rodriguez with your weekly movie review. Good Friday, Longhorns. Welcome to an all new semester. With all of the recent cast changes, I decided that updating the show might spice things up a little bit. From now until the end of the semester, we'll be following a theme of holidays that just happened to land on our weekly show. That being said, for Kid Inventors Day, we'll be checking out Meet the Robinsons, where a little Einstein called Lewis ends up in the future where he is subjected to meeting the eccentric Robinson family. I remember watching this movie on repeat all the time as a child, and it brings nothing but great memories especially the entire scene where you first meet Wilbur's family. Despite my recollection, reviews on the movie only ever seem to be slightly above par with IMDB giving it a 6.8 and Metacritic having it down to a 61. The luck doesn't turn up in the category of cost because the movie has barely scraped by. Its cumulative growth since being released in 2007 has gone up 1 or 2 billion above its estimated cost and with old films from the early 2000s being generally forgotten, that is unlikely to change. 
that aside, I would highly recommend watching this movie. They offer it on YouTube, Prime Video, or Disney Plus for the few of you who are still re-watching all those childhood classics. That's all for this week, Longhorns. My name is Hector Rodriguez. Now back to Coming you. up with our gamer review is Serge Gutierrez. Hello, everyone. My name is Serge, and welcome to Game Review. Luigi the Cowardly Hero has returned on Nintendo stock market as a new sequel, Luigi Mansion 3. Fans have been actually waiting for this game to come out, and I wonder, is it good? Let's find out and play it. I've been waiting for this game to come out, and that long wait was well worth it. The gameplay is great, who knew that capturing and slamming goats to the ground would be any more satisfying? And let's not forget how gorgeous the game looks in each and every floor you explore. And each floor gets more weird, from the hotel suites to a haunted gym to a spooky desert and a terrifying plate ship in the middle of the sea. The characters are just as lovable and enjoyable, from the reliable poker pup to the lovable toads to the cowardly hero Luigi. Although the gameplay is great, there is one downside. The shop. The shop is just a big disappointment. The shop only has three items to buy, two of which help looking for the collectible, which are pretty useless. The only acceptable item is the golden bone, which gives Luigi an extra life. The shop has so much potential, there could be, have been upgrades for the protagonist, like, I don't know, add some better suction or more damage or a larger range for the suction. I mean, they put a desert in a hotel. Luigi Mansion 3 is a great game overall. And now to my, end my review, my verdict for Luigi Mansion 3 is 8.6 out of 10. Huh? <laughs> I did it. I find the gameplay and the characters very amusing besides shop. It's an amazing game. That wraps up this week's review. I hope you enjoyed it and I see you gamers next week to talk more about Archiro. Stay awesome, and now back to we you. We hope you enjoyed this week's show. And don't forget, you can catch our latest shows and stream our Longhorn Radio station at longhornradio.org, as well as get the latest announcements and check out our Week and Pick segment. You can also check us on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at Longhorn Radio. We hope you have a great weekend.